You're watching Hot Facts with Robert Green. Jumping, I can pick anything faster. I know about the picking rates, so I know how to pick. I pick fast. When I'm inside the store, I'm killing like the Walmart people inside the aisles. They know me now inside this place when I go in there and shop. They know me. I'm smashing them in the aisles. I mean smashing them. They move slow. Well, they don't move slow. They move at the allowed rate that you are allowed to pick at, okay? So you guys have to know that there is a rate that they are allowed to pick at. And that's the, and, and they, they, they test everyone. So they have a rate that you pick at and you can pick at that rate. So you have to understand rates also when people are getting mad and complaining about how come I don't have my order yet? They have picking rates. You have some people that pick faster than others, okay? You have some that pick faster than others. That's just the way it is. The ones that pick faster than the others can get multiple um, stores or multiple orders picked so that when they are dropping the batches at those times, when they drop those batches off, they have more there that they can actually give the drivers when they come. But if they are staying at that standard picking rate, uh, you'll have some drivers that will be waiting there a little longer. But just to let you guys know, they aren't milking the clock or anything. There is a rate. You have someone that picks very, very fast. You have someone that picks the what the rate is. Then you have people that pick below the rate. The people that pick below the rate, uh, they get pulled off from picking because picking is logistics and you have to pick to get the orders ready for transport. That is the whole thing, okay? You have to understand that part right there. So uh, they have a rate that they pick from. Now, if they're in the green in their rate, how we have you know the on-time ac accuracy and all that, their picking rate. If their picking rate is in the green, they're in the green. Now, just because it may seem like it takes a long time to you, you are absolutely wrong. They are inside their picking rate. You gotta learn that. Content creators, teach about the picking rate on how it has to work with, you know, the people that work on the inside and you doing your job as a picker too when you're going out picking the stores. Speak about the picking rate and how they have a picking rate and they're not going slow. They're going with what the rate says and it's broken down to just how I said. If you have a person that can pick multiple orders fast, they get those, they put them inside those blue things and they have them sitting there built up so they can come and take them out to the cars, boom, go in, go out. Now you'll only have like two of those people that work like that in the place. It's like being me, a really good driver, customer service and all of that, you're not gonna find a whole bunch of us like that, but we are there. It's the exact same thing, okay? It's the exact same thing. Content creators, if you are doing Walmart Spark and you're giving advice, please give advice on the picking rates and how that affects you, okay? Let's start really talking. I'll break down the picking rate right now while I'm going to pick up this, okay? So when you're doing the logistics and the people are picking, I'll give it to you in the terms here. Any item that is 70 pounds and higher, okay? they are required to pick that that thing right there at uh, 50 to 60 boxes an hour, okay? 50 to 60 boxes an hour if you have a whole store of that. That's how long they give you to pick that store. Anything that's under that, and we'll call this as like the, uh, the light units, groceries, anything that's under 70 that we are picking, let me tell you that you have a rate you have a rate of 80 to 100 an hour. If you're dealing with really small items, like really small items, and you're on that conveyor belt, uh, you got people doing 160, 170 items an hour, uh, really, really fast. But when you're going inside the store, you gotta understand, you gotta break down your picking rates when you are doing it too, and that's how they are estimating it to get it back to the customer, your picking rate. Now, when we are going in here to get these items, they are thinking that we can get 70 to 80, uh, 70 to 80 items picked in an hour. That's why when you have over 100, it tells you that you have maybe like a two hour time to shop because they're going over the picking time. Picking and aisles, they calculate all of that. It's part of the picking rate. Now that we are third party people, we are doing the picking rate. This is something that a lot of content creators do not know and do not understand. There's a picking rate that they are doing inside there. They're not going slow. They are working at the rate. If you want them to go above and beyond, that's like me 
trying to get you guys do customer service to get your extra tips. Now, will you do it?